Hi, welcome back to this video on factoring. In the last video we looked at what factoring is and how you do it. Um, and we did an example when a was 3 actually, but that process works for when a, b, and c are anything. Uh, in this video we're going to do one more example when a equals 1 to show that the process is actually a lot easier. So I erased the example but left all the steps here so we can look at them. Um, and let's make up another example. So x or a is 1, so we can just write x squared. There's like an invisible 1 there, but since 1 times anything is itself, it's OK. OK, so x squared plus how about um, uh, 7x uh, um, plus 10. Okay, how about that? Again, this won't work for anything, so it's a little bit harder to think of examples, but I think this will work out. Alright, so let's take a look at our steps. Multiply a and c. Well, since a is 1, uh, a times c is just c, so this is already a little bit easier because you don't have to do as much multiplication. So that's just 10. Alright, then it says find factors of a times c that add to b. So, let's see, there aren't very many factors of 10. I maybe should have picked a better number, but this will work. 1 and 10, 2 and 5, and then I think that's actually it. But, oh well. Sometimes you'll get whole huge list of factors, um, but it's better than not having very many factors because it's more likely to be not factorable uh, when you don't have very many factors. But anyway, we look at these factors that add to uh, b. So 1 and 10 adds to 11. 2 and 5 adds to 7. So there we go. b is 7, so we found our factors. Now use the box. OK, so I'm going to use the box, but what you'll find is you don't actually have to use the box when a does not equal, uh, or when, when a does equal 1. So if we drew out our box like this, then we get an x squared here, 10 here, and our two factors, so 2x and 5x. But since there's no other number in front of this x squared, we just put an x here. And then this is just going to be the num the coefficient of the, of the factor. <laughs> so we get an x and a 2 and an x and a 5 which you'll see 2 and 5 are the factors that we found over here. So we can rewrite our quadratic pretty simply. It's a lot easier than last time as just x plus 2 times x plus 5 Okay, equals 0. So when a is equal to 1, your factors just become the numbers that you're adding to, to 1x. But you can always draw out the box. So if you don't remember that kind of little shortcut, uh, or if you're in doubt, always just draw out the box. It's not going to take that long, especially when a is 1. And um, the more you do it, then eventually you'll kind of internalize the shortcut, and you won't need to write out the box. But like I said, if you write out the box, it'll always work. Now it's just a matter of solving these factors, which is actually a lot easier when uh, x is just equal to 1. Because, or sorry, when uh, when there's the coefficient on x is just 1. x plus 2 equals 0, so x is negative 2. That's one answer. Sorry, that was a pretty bad box. Let's draw it again. There we go. No, that is really bad too. There we go. Lots of room over the 2. Okay, <laughs> and then x plus 5 equals 0. Let's see. Equals 0, so x is negative 5. So, pretty easy. Okay, and th there are your two answers, and uh, this was a lot easier than when a uh, was not equal to 1. But, uh, you know, you can't, it's not always easy. But when it is, it's kind of nice. But there we go. So all we did was take our quadratic, factor it, and solve it. And the factoring is a lot easier when a is 1. So that's all I had to show you in this video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.